Another celebrity eagle stroking awards show took place Wednesday night and like all other celebrity gatherings to honor each other, they centered the show around bashing President Donald Trump. This is expected in liberal Hollywood since stage presence always seems to present the opportunity to cause political chaos in front of the entire country. However, red-blooded Americans had hoped for more respect out of their favorite country music stars who don't typically go down this liberal path of trashing the president. The hosts of the 51st Annual Country Music Awards, CMA, were warned about bringing politics into their awards presentation and they didn't listen. Now, they're suffering some massive consequences for it making the entire show about poking fun of our president. It's one thing for liberal actors and rappers to make their awards show about hating on Trump since their face base agrees with their disrespectful views. The same can't be said for the majority of country music fans who are typically conservative and support our president and appreciate what he's done to make America great again, as he promised he would. With total disregard for who was watching and the CMA executives' orders. Hosts Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood suggested Trump's a cheater in a song performance and put on skits poking fun of some things he's done in the public eye. They may have thought they were pretty clever but they aren't laughing now, just 48 hours after making idiots of themselves on stage at our president's expense. Opposing Views reports, underscore the duo started the show wearing Eclipse sunglasses referencing the time Trump ditched a pair to look directly at the August solar eclipse, reports Daily Mail. Underscore, underscore afterwards, the stars sang a rendition of Underwood's hit 2005 song before he cheats with the lyrics rewritten to mock Trump. Underscore, underscore right now he's probably in his PJs, watching cable news, reaching for his cell phone, Paisley sung, before Underwood joined in, it's fun to watch it, that's for sure. Till Little Rocket Man starts a nuclear war, maybe next time he'll think before he tweets. Underscore, underscore the duo's antics came despite a memo the Country Music Association sent to the media prior to the show, requesting that journalists avoid discussing the Las Vegas tragedy, gun rights, political affiliations or topics of the like in their reporting on the show, according to the Nashville scene. Underscore, Paisley didn't just go against the association's request with his anti-Trump antics, he was quick to condemn it as well and do what he wants. Stars always think they are above the rules and we've seen what that has done to the NFL. Now, the country music industry could soon face the same fate, or at least these two singers for starters. Underscore Paisley and Underwood warned they would pull off such jokes ahead of time despite the Country Music Association's desire to make the show apolitical, insisting that they weren't making political statements, according to ABC News. Underscore, underscore we've always said that we want to make fun of things that are funny, Underwood defiantly announced before the show. It's not about any political party or any person or any anything. It's just about making fun of things that are funny. Underscore, just as furious fans have turned every football game off, they did so to the CMAs in an immediate reaction to their insulting acts to the man they voted for and are proud of. Underscore opposing views underscore caught some of the reactions that filled the internet as real-time ratings for the awards show began to drop from the mass exodus of offended country fans. Well even the Hashik May Awards has to open up by mocking the president, wrote one person on Twitter. Time to find something else to watch that won't involve politics. So very disappointing that the CMAs brought politics to the show, said a commenter in Daily Mail's comments section. I won't watch again, nor support you with my money. As Trump supporters publicly expressed their views, liberals were quick to condemn them in support of the show's sickening message. Mocking. One commenter questioned of an accusation a former fan made of the host sacked. Hardly. It was all in fun and it was funny, unlike the nonsense you see out of the idiots in Hollywood. There was nothing mean spirited about it. That was a tasteful and funny satirical performance. Added another. Nothing wrong at all. Happy to see country music artists speaking out about this vile, atrocious administration. Commented another. Country music fans are the ones hurt the most by those awful policies handed out by original. Impeachment coming soon. 
It's disturbing that not a single awards show in the eight years Barack Obama was president ruthlessly mocked him, as almost every one of them in the past ten months of Trump's presidency has. There would be outrage for days if the tables were turned on this. These country stars didn't listen to the warnings from their show association, but more importantly, they didn't learn from the fallout of the NFL from pissed patriotics and now their industry could soon pay a similar price. Thank you.